Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Moods, and, uh, yeah, I got a little inspired today to shoot a video. Um, so I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Then I seen Kalfi's video up of his, uh, Vipco, uh, collection, so I thought I would show off my Blue Underground collection. So, there's quite a few titles here, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Not really gonna talk about much of these because, yeah, there's just way too fucking many. So, first up. Uh, the tenth victim with uh, uh, Ursula Andres. Uh, she is one of the hottest girls ever. If you don't know who she is, she was the very first Bond girl in uh, Doctor No. Awesome, awesome, cool fucking movie. Uh, next up, got 99 Women here. This is the X-rated French version of it, Jess Franco film. Um, got the uh, the Alan Clark collection. Uh, this collection actually features two versions of Scum. Um, made in Brook, uh, made in Brooklyn, made in Britain. Uh, the Firm and Elephant, and there's a documentary on there too. Uh, next up is uh, Anguish, uh, very underrated uh, type of slasher film, in my opinion. Um, next up, Autopsy, fucking cool film. Uh, Baby Yaga, kind of a lesbian seductive type film. It's pretty cool. Uh, Bad Boy Bubby. Uh, this one's been shown by lots of different people. Really fucking cool film. Uh, Bear Behind Bars. And next up we got uh, The Big Racket. Um, cool film. Good action film. Uh, Dario Argento's uh, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Fucking awesome giallo. Uh, next up, The Belly. The Black Belly of the Tarantula. Fucking fantastic giallo. Uh, probably one of my least favorite uh, Lucio Fulci films, um, The Black Cats. Uh, it's decent, but it's not one of my more favorite Fulci films. Uh, and then moving on to a Lambert above a film, A Blade in the Dark. Just showed this in my slasher uh, video. Absolutely love this film. Great shit. Uh, next up is the Blind Dead collection, which features let's open stuff. Everyone's seen inside this. Tombs of the Blind Dead, Return of the Evil Dead, The Ghost Galleon, and Night of the Seagull. And it also has a documentary there on the director, which is really cool stuff. Uh, next up, The Bloodstained Shadow. Uh, <laughs> the ending of this movie makes me laugh. It's funny. Um, the Blood Spattered Bride. Uh, fucking excellent film. Uh, next up, the uh, A Bullet for the General. Awesome. Uh, Cannibals. This is a Jess Franco film. It's got some pretty nasty gore in it. Pretty cool shit. Uh, Cannibal Man. Uh, next up, Cannonball. Derek, David Carradine and Cannonball. Great film. Uh, Luchi, uh, what is it? Luch, Luch, Luchi Cozy. Um, Contamination. Cheesy fucking movie. Love it. Uh, the next up, The Case of the Bloody Iris. Uh, the Cat of Nine Tales, uh, Dario Argento's film. Um, Michel Sauvier's The Church, fucking awesome film. Uh, the Christopher Lee collection, uh, which contains The Bloody Judge, The Castle of Fu Manchu, The Blood of Fu Manchu, and Circle of, uh, Circus of Fear. Uh, that is limited. I'm not going to show you number half because I don't really give a fuck. Uh, next up is uh, Circle of Iron. Uh, this was uh, kind of written by Bruce Lee. Um, City of the Living Dead, uh, Lucio Fulci's fucking masterpiece. Uh, Compen Nero's, uh, it's got Franco Nero, Thomas Milan, and Jack Palance. I'm gonna beat that cast right there. Another Lucio Fulci film called Contraband. I'm sorry if this is getting really dark. It's kind of getting dark here. Here in this room has shit lighting. Uh, it's got some great fucking kills in it. Great film. Uh, another Lucio Fulci film, Conquest. This is like a sword and sorcery fucking cheese fest. It's so good. Sword and sorcery with uh, with fucking um, with lots of gore. Uh, it's pretty awesome shit. I love the I love the atmosphere of this film. It just feels so weird. Um, uh, Romero's The Crazies, um, Daughter of Darkness. This is uh, this is a really really different type of vampire film. Very cool shit. The ending is pretty funny actually too. Uh, Dead and Buried. Talked about this one lots of times before. It's just uh, just a personal favorite of mine. Fucking classic. Uh, showed this one before. Death Dream. Bob Clark's classic film. Another classic here, uh, Dario Argento's Deep Red. 
um, Delirium, uh, Django, Frank Rainier and Django. Uh, I got Django Kill here with uh, Thomas Milan. I've actually never watched this movie, so I need to check that out. Uh, Don't Torture a Duckling. This is um, uh, Lucio Fulci. Uh, David Cronenberg's uh, Fast Company uh, race car movie. Uh, the Fifth Chord uh, with Franco Nero. Great film. Uh, Fight for Your Life. Fuck, this movie has the most insane racism ever in a film. It's just fucking crazy. Uh, the Final Countdown. Uh, the Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. Very long title. Pretty cool movie. Very cool. Uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, For the Apocalypse. It's a western. Uh, going Under. Um, yeah, I haven't actually watched that one yet. Uh, Grand Slam. Uh, City to Live and Dead. Uh, we got uh, Heroin Busters. Um, Hitchhike with uh, David Hess, fucking awesome film. Franco Nero's in this film. Cannot beat that shit. It's just awesome. Uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, House by the Cemetery. Uh, Franco Nero and How to Kill a Judge, excellent film. David, Ar- Ar- David, Dario Gentles Inferno, can't beat that shit right there. Uh, Franco Nero in Kioma, great film. Uh, Killer Nun, awesome. Uh, the Killing Hour, which is a really cool film. Uh, we got the Larry Cohen collection here, which consists of um, Q the Serpent Wing, Bone, and God Told Me to Kill. Now, Bone has got to be one of the most bizarre uh, home invasion type um, um, home invasion type uh, hostage type fucking movies. It's just it's just ridiculously crazy how the movie develops. Uh, La Scorda, I've not actually watched this one yet. I'm ashamed to say. Um, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. Love that film. Uh, the Loveless with uh, William Defoe. This is his first movie. He plays like a 50s biker gang leader. Uh, Macabre. Uh, Machine Gun McCain. Mad Dog Killer. Uh, very cool movie. Lucio Fulci's Manhattan Baby. Uh, excuse me. Uh, William Lustig's Maniac, fucking amazing. Uh, we got Mahana, Mahanja, um, Mark of the Devil, it's a fucking crazy film. Uh, this is the uh, the Mondo the Mondo Kane collection, which which consists of Mondo Kane, Mondo Kane Two, Women of the World, Africo Adio, the English version, Africo Adio, Director's Cut, Uncle or Goodbye Uncle Tom, uh, Audio Co Tom, Director's Cut, and there's a. Uh, and the Godfather of Mondo in there. Very cool. Got a very low number on that one, actually. Who gives a shit? Uh, next up, The Mountain of the Cannibal God. Awesome, awesome fucking film. Uh, the Nest, The Nesting. A lot of people don't really seem to like this movie, but I actually really do. Uh, Newsfront. Uh, the New York Ripper, Fulci, uh, classic Giallo slash kind of slasher. Uh, it's got one of the weirdest killers ever in a film. I'm sure everyone knows about that one. Uh, Nightmare City, cheesy, cheesy uh, Umberto Lenzi film. It's fucking awesome. Um, the Night Train Murders. Yeah, it's you know it's kind of like Glass House on the Left in my opinion. Kind of a rip off of it, I guess. Um, Dario Gento's opera. I always felt that this film is very, very fucking underrated, man. Very underrated. Uh, I love it. Uh, the Prowler. Um, yeah, love that film. Uh, the Pajama Girl Case. I have yet to watch this one. Can't really comment on it. I'm not sure what. There's a couple films, like I said, in here I haven't watched, so. Uh, Bruno Matti's uh, Rats. Cheese Fest. Awesome. Uh, this is a Red Lips double feature featuring uh, Two Undercover Angels and Kiss Me Monster. Uh, what do we got here? We got Revolver. Very, very cool film. Uh, Run Man Run with uh, Thomas Milan. Uh, Saloon Kitty. Sorry for the ass there, but uh, I've actually not watched that one either. Uh, Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye. Uh, that was a fucking cool film. I very I enjoyed that one. Um, 
I have yet to open this one actually, either the shape of things to come. Uh, Mario Bava, sorry about the, Mario Bava's shock, uh, I believe this was like his last film. Uh, next up, Shock Waves, uh, Nazi zombie film, love it. Uh, this is a really, really fucking cool film. Short Night of the Glass Dolls, very cool giallo. Uh, we got uh, Smithereens, you have to watch that one. Uh, Snuff, it's not really that great. It's still decent to own though. Uh, Stage Fright, you know my thoughts on this one. Fucking love this film. Michelle Sauvier, awesome film director. Uh, Dario Argento's uh, The Stendhal Syndrome, fucking love that film. Uh, Street Law, this is a really cool Franco Nero action film directed by Enzo uh, Enzo and G. Castorelli. Very cool shit. Uh, strip Nude for Your Killer, lots of boobs and, and bloods. Uh, Ultra Trashy is fucking totally right. This movie kicks ass. I love it. Love it. I uh, got another Franco Nero movie here uh, Succubus. Dario Argento's Suspiria, classic. Can't have enough editions of that movie, I guess. Uh, Franco Nero's uh, Texas Adios. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, the Toolbox Murders. I fucking love the original Toolbox Murders. Such a great film. I was not a big fan of uh, Toby Hooper's uh, remake at all. Torso showed this one before. Love it. Great film. Great slasher film. Uh, Romero's and Argento's Two Evil Eyes. Both great films. Uh, w William Lustig's uh, Uncle Sam fucking cheese fest uh, July 4th uh, celebration party movie it's fucking awesome gotta love it um, Vampires now this is a really cool kind of lesbian vampire film it's got a really cool vibe I'm a really big fan of that it's pretty neat uh, next up is uh, Venom actually I haven't watched this one yet it's still unopened and actually, I haven't watched the next one either. Uh, Venus and Furs, I believe this is another Jess Franco film. Jess Franco has like a million fucking movies. Uh, Vigilante, um, if you've never seen Vigilante, seriously, get off your fucking ass. Buy this movie. I, this is definitely one of these Blue Underground films I'm going to pick up on Blu-ray. There's a few I'm going to pick up on Blu-ray because I really love them. But William Lustig's Vigilante, just a you know revenge film. And it's just awesome. So the death scenes and, and action sequences in this film are just phenomenal. Absolutely love it so much. Uh, next up, uh, Violent City by Charles Bronson, or featuring Charles Bronson. Awesome, awesome film. Some pretty cool uh, uh, death scenes in that film. Uh, Who Saw or Die was directed by uh, Aldo Lado, featuring uh, George Lansby, the one-time Bond. Um, it's it's all right. It's probably one of my least favorites giallos out of the all of the Blue Underground films. And of course, last up is Zombie. Uh, yeah, Lucio Fulci's Zombie. Everyone knows that shit. So yeah, so that's uh, that's the uh, the Blue Underground collection there. I just really tried to you know rip through it. Um, want me to talk about any of these movies that I showed? It's not like a hundred and something movies, 120 movies I did in like under 50 minutes. It's pretty good. Hope the lighting was okay. It could have been a little better, I guess. It's pretty dark, so. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Blue Underground is awesome. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Peace out, homies.